Today we're learning how to make these nice chapter slides in PowerPoint. We'll look at how to create the shapes as well as the animations. Let's start from a blank slide and add a rectangle. Not all the way to the edge, leave a little on the side. Make it purple and add a rounded rectangle, a small rectangle on top. Remove outlines, give it the same color and position it on the right. Copy it four times and distribute them evenly. Format background, make it a little bit darker. And now we're going to duplicate this slide four times. Go to the first slide and leave the bottom tab. On the second one, you want to leave the second. And on the third, the third. And on the fourth, you want to keep the top one. We're going to merge them. So select both shapes, merge. Do that for all slides and give them a slightly different gradient. So we'll make it lighter as it goes to the top. Right click and give them all a drop shadow to the right. 60% transparency, 10% blur and five points distance. You won't see it right now, but if you stack them on top of each other, you'll see a very nice effect. To give you an idea, let's copy the shape from the second tab and put it on the first slide. So duplicate, do not mess up things and overlay it and then shift it a little bit to the left. Here you can see the drop shadow, which is pretty nice. And then you can stack them on top of each other. That is the basic effect that we're looking for in this, in this animation. And the last one, perfect. And now we can select everything and move it to the left. So this is the, the final result that we're looking for. Now we want to create all the content on the different tabs. So let's add a large number, one, two, three, and four. Make it a little bit more transparent. That way it's a little bit more subtle. Add a title and some dummy text. You want to work on the right side of the slide. So don't just fill up the entire tab, but you want to work on, let's say the right half of the slide, because we're going to pull them out and overlay the tabs to the left. Add an icon, select everything and center it. Align to center. Now we can copy this to the second slide, change the number to two and create or add a new icon. And do the same for the other pages, the third one, add a new icon. And the text seems to be a little bit light here, so let's change the color, make it something purple. That way it stands out a little bit more. And then copy it one last time for the fourth slide. And that looks good. And change the icon. Now we want to add the numbers to the slide. So add them with the color of the previous layer. So the firm the, on the first layer, we'll look at the background and then we'll make the color a little bit lighter as we go along. I change the numbers here from four to one so that four comes at the bottom and one is at the top. That feels a bit more natural. Group everything together and then create a copy of the first slide and just overlay all the different stacks. Shift them to the left a little bit. So number three goes on number four and then number two goes on top and then number one. Perfect. Shift everything to the left and then you duplicate this slide. You will duplicate it every time and on each slide you will pull out one of the tabs. That way you have four different slides, including the first one, five, and then you add a morph transition between the slides. And that way once you shift it will create a very nice effect. Let's add a title, for example slides, font quite large and bebas neue and chapter slides. This title we want to copy, we want to give it a shadow first and then we want to copy it and copy it to the different slides, reduce the font size and that will also be included in the morph transition. Let's preview. Now you know how to make these nice chapter slides in PowerPoint. It gives a very professional look to your presentation. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.